In this Moron Review, we're going to do Karl Marx and Frederick Engels, The Communist Manifesto. I'm going to tell you, first off, this is actually a good book if you want to understand communism and Karl Marx. It's, you know, you hear, but the, well, you know, like the young Hegelians against the Christian state, but the thing is, though, you know, they talk about the proletariats and the, the burgesses and all these people, you know, the proletariat or the poor being oppressed, you know, capitalism, you're, you're basically oppressed, you know, communism is great, you know, where the, and let's face facts, let's face facts, and Star Trek is basically kind of communism, in a sense. Now, I was, now, if you watch the original Star Trek, they mention money and everything, they get paid. The newer ones, they don't. I, I'm sorry about bringing up Star Trek, but it, it's kind of relevant. That doesn't work in real life. This stuff does not work in real life. Think about it, though. You're not going to get people who go to college for 10, 15 years, get PhDs or medical degrees, and have them work, you know, pay, get paid the same amount of money as someone who's never got an education. It didn't work in the Soviet Union, it didn't work in any other country, it ain't going to work in the United States. You read his book, and, you know, it's, it's a good book. Please read it. You know, I read these type of books, you know, uh, Rules for Radicals, Mein Kampf from Adolf Hitler, you know, no matter how, I know how it sounds, but you need to read these books. You get a better understanding of these people. You know, Karl Marx does not come across as a psycho like Hitler does. I give him credit on that. And, of course, all this nonsense about Charles Darwin and Karl Marx. Yes, yeah, true that he sent a copy of his Communist Manifesto to Charles Darwin. Charles Darwin never read it. He put it in his desk and never touched it. Because he could not read German. And Karl Marx was German. A German Jew. And, oh, man, please, I'm tired of this Jewish crap. You know, everybody bashing Jews. Okay, if Jews are trying to take over the world and want us all to be poor and everything, when only Israel has all the power and everything, okay, you're talking about 7 billion people against, what, maybe 10, 15 million? The Jews won't last long, okay? So don't be that. It's just, it doesn't make sense. None of that stuff. Yeah, I, I get it. They do have good control of the Federal Reserve, uh, Hollywood, and all this stuff. Yeah, it's true. But that doesn't mean they're trying to harm anybody. But anyways, back on track. The media. You cannot trust the media. And of course, before I forget, I know how it sounds like I'm rambling because I'm an idiot for expert. But anyways, as some of you may know, from other views, I am running for president in 2020, or 2024, 2028, 2032, or whatever. Of course, I don't have a chance of winning, but, you know, I am running. Watch my presidential videos, you know, with things I'll do with education, all that stuff, you know. I know the only people that really win are billionaires, millionaires, you know, and the people that are doing your news, those are millionaires, controlled by billionaires. Watch your news when it's over with CNN, Fox, I don't care, left wing, right wing, middle wing, up wing, down wing, whatever the Fudge, you want to talk about? I don't care. They're all controlled by a handful of people, and they don't care about you. I hate to tell you that. Watch George Carlin's education. Watch George Carlin's um, The Real Owners of America. Watch his videos on YouTube. Please watch them. I hope that crap doesn't show up as a thumbnail. But anyways, all this, you know, Antifa. Uh, Neo-Nazi nonsense that's been going on now. Let me ask you this question, okay? These neo-Nazi scum, they've been doing the crap they've been doing for years. For years. But no one cared. Why is it all of a sudden the media cares? And you really think that Antifa showing up with bats and all that stuff is helping? Have you seen some videos with Antifa attacking innocent people? They've been doing it lately too. A guy with a, a military haircut, because that's what some of those neo-Nazis had. That's a military haircut. Basically, you know, oh, well, he had that type of haircut, anyways. And some idiot comes down with a knife accusing him of being a neo Nazi. Some guy at University of Arizona uh, professor, they, they dox him and try and destroy his life because he looks like a person that was at that rally. I mean, what the fudge? Who cares if someone was at the rally? It doesn't necessarily mean they're neo Nazis. Not everyone that's for those statues is a neo Nazi or a racist. Sorry, don't listen to the media. And Donald Trump is still a moron. But that doesn't mean that everything, that doesn't everything how the media, see the media knows how to use hyperbole, they know how to, all oh, the lie to you. They are very hyperbolic, means exaggerating, which a lot of you know, it means they exaggerate a lot. 
Because Donald Trump said there were fine people at the protest. He did not say there were fine people in the neo-Nazi movement or white nationalists. He did not say that. Listen to the speech. <laughs> but see, that's, you know, things like Karl Marx. And you read this. You read this. You get an understanding of that. And if you especially want to learn propaganda, look at the seven uh, types of propaganda. And also read this book by Adolf Hitler, Mein Kampf. You'll learn about propaganda. These bastards know how to use propaganda. And of course Mussolini, if you want to find out what fascism really is. And of course, as you all know, Antifa did not stop the Nazis the last time. They actually helped them out a lot. Because the Nazis play victim, which is what they do, which is what they're doing now. And of course it doesn't help that all someone has to do today is go on YouTube and they can see Antifa attacking people just for wanting free speech. They attack people in the media. Somehow the media protects them and likes them, cares about them, worships them, but they attack the media. If you're videotaping what they do, they will attack you. After all, you don't, they don't want you to see their violence. But seriously, you want to learn what he thinks about property rights? He mentioned that he wants government ownership of property right, Property. He doesn't believe people should own property. That's exactly what Karl Marx believes. You do not have the right to property. The government should control everything. Now, I don't know how many of you grew up during the Soviet Union age, but it didn't help, help, with the, so didn't help the Soviet Union. They went by this communist stuff, and it did not work. Soviet Russia fell and it fell hard. It did not help. And it, it's never worked and it never will. Stop allowing the media to lie to you. They're not on your side. Now, I'm not saying fake news, fake news, fake news, fake news. I didn't say that. I'm not saying everything they say is fake news. I'm not saying that. Okay? It's just that a lot of times they'll exaggerate, a lot of times they'll outright lie. Think about it. CNN told us that Hillary Clinton was going to win. That she had a 97% chance of winning. And how many times has CNN and Fox News, MSNBC, and those others been caught lying and doctoring tapes, doctoring videos? Think about that. Just ask yourself that question. How many times did they report health news? You know, this food tells you you're going to get, you know, it's good for to fight cancer. Then six months later, it causes it may cause cancer. That's not the scientists being wrong. That's the media misinforming you. They're misinformed. They're journalists. It's not exactly like a, uh, you know, a degree that really requires a huge amount of thinking. And all this women's studies, gender studies, I mean, come on. I already made videos about that, you know. That's not scientific. It doesn't hold up the scientific rigor. Look up the Lezenko Affair. L-Y-S-E-N-K-O Affair. And Google, just Google it. Or go to YouTube. You know, they, this when people try to lie about genetics and stuff like this. This geneticist came up with this idea how to get plants to produce more. You know, his, that's, you know the five-year plan and all that crap. Those of you who remember about the Soviet Union, actually read history about the Soviet Union. You know, the five-year plan with the food production and crap. This idiot comes up with that crap, caused hundreds of millions of people, well, tens of millions of people to starve to death. And then I met other scientists were doing peer-reviewed paper just proved him. He had them either put to death or sent to gulags. Communists are not pro-science because science does not affirm any of this gender studies and women's studies stuff, most of it. And it does not, definitely, definitely is against any of this white nationalist crap. All white people are superior. First off, I'm Iranian descent. Okay, that's the second off. Second thing, the only white DNA I have is Irish from way back. Mainly Native American, some Irish, a whole lot of Iranian, and Hispanic. Not a lot of Hispanic either. So obviously I can never be a white nationalist, even if I was stupid enough to want to be one. No race is superior. No gender, one gender is not superior to the other. However, there are differences between the genders, men and women, are different. I'm not going to get into that. I don't care about that stuff. Just watch my other videos. You can hear stuff I say, especially when I'm running for president. You know, I'm mainly for education. And that's the thing. That is a thing that you got to realize. This stuff is just a distraction. They're using Antifa and these neo-Nazi scum. 
Antifa scum and neo-Nazi scum are being used as a distraction. The real problem in this country is the educational system and the prison system. And of course there are other problems too. But those are the big ones. And I already mentioned in other videos how I would change the educational system. Obviously communism does not work. This is still a good book. I highly recommend you get it. I got this one from Penguin, Penguin Classics. You know, Karl Marx and Frederick Engels. Could, you know, this, Frederick Engels also uh, contributed to it. It did not help a lot of people. Cause, and also, as some of you know, communism killed, I believe, what, three to four times the number of people that Nazism killed. Not to mention they killed a lot of Jews too. Of course, Nazis were more brutal with Jews. And let's face facts. Religion, communism, neo-Nazism, right national, white nationalism, all those groups are very authoritative and dogmatic. They all want to control you. Don't let them. And they'll all be controlled, being told by whatever media outlet they listen to, who are, of course, being controlled by these billionaires. The people at the bottom, you know, the Antifa, the neo-Nazis, all those groups, they're basically what you call useful idiots. I'm sorry, but they are. Actually, I'm not sorry. But no, I am kind of sorry. I feel bad for them. And, you know, like, I don't want to say, I said it in another video, I want to say it again. You know, there are, from what I have noticed, levels of how people get from being, you know, rational to being irrational. And it works for any religion, ideology, or anything like that. You know, the first level, from what I've noticed, is a person that might be like a lot of you guys, unlike me. You know, you talk to someone, they talk to you, you engage in conversation, you disagree with them, and they may not necessarily change your mind, and you may not necessarily change theirs, but you have a friendly conversation. You don't think low of them or negative or any of that stuff. It doesn't really, it may come across your mind once or twice because, you know, you're human, that's just how it is. You know, you may think, you know, why is this person just not listening to me? You know, but you're not going to get upset with them. Level two is you do get upset with them. You may not necessarily be, you're not being insulting yet, but you get upset, you know, why don't you just listen to me? And you just walk off. And, and the first one, you may change your mind. Number one, you'll change your mind. Number two, you won't change your mind during the argument, even when presented with facts. Unlike number one, you'll leave upset and angry, and then realize, you know, maybe that person is right. Or you'll look things up, you know, look up what they said, and find, you know, maybe that person was right, and you'll change your mind. Or you find that person was wrong, and you present them with facts, and they're at the same level as you, and say, you know, something, you were right. That's level two. Level three, this is when a person stops becoming rational. And you'll find this in religion, every all those groups. It's, what I, it's just what I have noticed. And I'm just making these up. I'm just pulling these out of my ass, okay? Third one is, you're stupid. You're a Nazi. You're racist. You're sexist. You're homophobic. You're Islamophobic. You're a libtard. You're a communist. You're a socialist. You're an idiot. You're a leftard. You're a lefty. You're a righty. You, you're a commie scum. You're a scum. You're this and that, you know. Basically, they're insulting. They dehumanize the other side. They will not listen to reason, facts, or anything like that. They think they're right. They'll call the other side, oh, they're monsters. They're just pure evil. And let me tell you something. Whether a person is a Nazi or Antifa or any of that stuff, there are many of those people that you can still reason with. But if you insult them, cuss at them, and all that stuff, spitting on them, sorry, but you're going to get them to go further to the right or to the left. And there's something called the horseshoe theory. You know, the further you go to the right or left, Eventually, you start coming together again. Many, you know, their ideas get so crazy. The further you go, eventually they're both basically you can't tell the difference because they're psychotic. But we'll get to that in a moment with the full thing. I want to tell you about, you know, the full. But let's. You know. Then you get number four. Number four is when a person's going to start using weapons. They'll, they're not they're not violent yet, but they'll bring weapons. They'll have weapons that want to intimidate and scare people. They'll. Try to ruin your life, your job, cost you your job, your livelihood. They'll do any of that stuff. They'll, you know, they're basically trying to intimidate you, scare you. They don't, won't let you speak. They just will not allow you to speak because they don't know what free speech is. Free speech, basically, you know, I do not agree with what you're saying, but I will defend your right to be able to speak. That's what free speech is because how can I be able to say what I want if I won't allow you to say what you want? And then there's the fifth and final. That's when they start using violence. They show up with the bats, the rallies and stuff, and they start using them. They 
pepper spray people who they don't agree with, spit in their faces, run them over with a freaking car because they're too fucking stupid to think any differently. You know, things like that. They start using violence. They only can respond with violence. There is no reasoning with some of them. Not all of them. You can probably eventually, if you get them by themselves, maybe reason with some of them. Now, here's where the full thing. This will, now, first off, I want to tell you the story that actually has happened. You know, on the news, not on the news, but on YouTube, you probably can find a video. Uh, you know, these, the, the KKK came to a town to do their little hate speech, you know, inward this, inward that, you know, crap like that. You know, but the thing is, though, messages went through the whole town. Do not show up to their rally. Do not show up to their rally. Do not show up to their rally. Because that's what they want you to show up and get angry. The clan left in five minutes. They were so pissed off because no one showed up to the rally except for their supporters. They had nothing to say. And then there's another one on True TV, I think it's True TV, where a bunch of skinheads went to a predominantly black neighborhood and did their crap. Of course, a lot of the African Americans are getting angry, threw rocks at them, dunked on fences, attacked some store owners, African American store owners, and of course the police showed up. They had a, the, the skinheads had to leave and they're laughing all happy. That's where I'm going to get to the point with the fools. Do not argue with the, Who's the greater fool? The fool or the person arguing with the fool? And another thing, if you see two fools arguing, how, I mean, if you see a person arguing with the fool, how do you know who's the fool and who's not the fool? Think about it. That's why, you know, I, I made a video before about how to deal with people that are rude in our argument. Think about it. They're yelling and screaming at you. They call, tell you, what, you, I heard you said this about me, blah, 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 blah. You can yell back. Guess what? You're just entertaining everybody else. Or you can just ignore them because cause no matter what, you're not going to win because they're going to lie about what happened and, you know, and, and then the, those neo-Nazis are still going to do their stupid crap no matter what you do. You know, I was reading on YouTube today, well, are we supposed to just not shrub them a little talk? Yeah, because nobody cares. If, if, if you don't show, if Antifa does not show up, that means there's no violence. That means the media won't show up. That means the media will not be promoting it. Then they don't get on television. They don't get on television. Other people don't see them. If other people don't see them, other people can't sympathize with them and join them. Because it's hard to sympathize with people using bats and stuff. And both sides know how to play victim. And the clan neo-Nazis... Well, they got this Hitler crap, and they know how to do it. So please be careful. Karl Marx, his system does not work. The neo-Nazis are scum. They're terrorists. Antifa used the terroristic idea, are, in my opinion, are not necessarily... I hate to call them terrorists, but... Yeah, in a way they are, because they do attack people no matter what. Everyone who they disagree with is sexist and racist and a, a Nazi. They've attacked people, innocent people for no reason. So yeah, you could say they are. <laughs> but it's your choice to um, keep believing the media. You know, I'm not saying they're evil or anything like that. The media isn't. They're just trying to make money. That's all they care about is make money. That's what, think about it. Why is it all of a sudden they tell you about a white woman being shot by a cop, you know, through the door, a door of a police, a police cruiser? All of a sudden they tell you that white people have been getting killed by cops for a very long time. Now they just report it. Uh, a white person gets killed by an African American. I mean, that's a, down in the media reports these things. Why? Because they want to create division. The more we fight each other, those rich people can get richer. Because then we're not going to be thinking about how they're getting rich. It doesn't mean that we take their money from them. It doesn't mean we... No, it just means you get an education. You try to better your life. Don't end up like me. Don't be a loser like I am. I have a degree in molecular biology and bi biochemistry, but I'm still a moron. I'm a loser. Don't be like me. And please don't fall forward to the media. Don't... Just, be, just take everything you see on the news with a grain of salt, okay? Yahoo, CNN, Fox, or any of that stuff, please. And those neo-Nazis, I mean, the, the neo-Nazis, they're a joke, okay? They are predominantly, most of them are a joke. Have you, did you see the pictures of a lot of them? And same with the Antifa. Look at them, the self-defense stuff. Look at some of the stuff they do. Look at Paris and Berkeley riots and all this stuff. The Communist Manifesto. I didn't talk a whole lot about it because, you know, you need to read it. I won't, 
I believe that you guys need to read this book. It has a lot of interesting things. I've read this book at least twice now. He really, really, you know, and that's the thing. Though, they claim to be for workers' rights. There's a reason why that book, uh, Animal Farm, was made. Because it's pretty better represented. And I've read it too. And I have it with my other books. It's a good representative of what it really is. Oh, well. But I don't want to make this video too long. You know, and read Plato. Read Obama's A Destiny of Hope and Dreams from a Father. Read Thomas Paine's, you know, his works, Common Sense, Rights of Man. Read the Federalist Papers. Please read Anne Frank's Diary of a Young Girl. Uh, what else would I suggest you read? I mean, it's just my suggestion. Richard Dawkins, The Great Show on Earth. And that's another thing. Why is it you can criticize Christianity but not Islam? Why is it that these social justice warriors and TIFO get upset if you criticize Islam? Ask yourself that. Bye.